Hello everyone, I'm Demon Trigger. And I'm Fighter Knuckles. And we've got a ROM hack for you today. This ROM hack has a few gimmicks, the first of which is that every single song in this ROM hack is from Kirby. Which, it, you know, that's not really that much of a bad thing. Also, it's Japanese. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, because, I mean, you know, Kirby, Mega Man, sort of the same thing, except one doesn't eat things. But one's a platformer, the other's a platformer. They both copy things. They both have, yes, they're, they're very similar. They're both absolutely fantastic. They're both Japanese. So anyway, Rockman 5 Air Sliding, which is probably the worst title for anything ever. Well, it's very to the point and self-explanatory. So. Yeah. So anyway, here's more of that Kirby music, and we're gonna just wait for... Alright. Get enough Kirby. So... Why am I not playing Kirby right now? I don't know, man! Uh, alright. So here's the Robot Masters, they're not weird color changes or furries or anything like that, so... Yeah, we've seen... The horrors of the internet. That is an excellent choice. I feel like that is an acceptable replacement for what's typically there. Yeah. So anyway, air sliding. Sliding on air. So it's pretty much the air dash from the Mega Man X games translated into the classic series. Yeah. Another gimmick is that you don't lose your charge when you get hit. It's not so much of a gimmick as much of a convenience, really. Yeah. It, it, it makes them buster even more ridiculously overpowered than it already was, so... The cool thing about air sliding is you just do that and just ignore <laughs> enemies. It's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Although I, although the 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 input for air sliding is pretty much just sliding, but you're doing it in air, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's still yeah, down and jump. It's still down and jump. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. That, that just seems kind of awkward. Yeah. In general, it, it, to... it is really bizarre, but it, you get used to it. I'm sure, but it just seems pretty awkward to. to... Also, the only enemies that are really that much different were the 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 chasing guys, the, the molestios or whatever. And in this, they're just kind of invincible, and they just walk away, kind of like a Joe. Mm. So, Molestio Joe, I guess. Uh, that's very unpleasant. Also, the little hopping uh, mets are really annoying, and they're really hard to hit because they're just hopping around everywhere. That also, jump is not a problem. Yeah. Well, I should have done something to make it equally challenging as in the original game. Yeah. Well, this level's not that interesting, but there are... Um, once we start getting the special weapons, because the special weapons are kind of different. Hmm, something to look forward to, I suppose. Yep. And they even changed the one up sound, that's so neat. Yeah. Just Kirby everywhere, basically. All they need to do is make Mega Man pink. Oh god. Oh, and there's another one up, because the game wasn't easy enough. Now they just give you one ups everywhere, in addition to enemies dropping one ups. Also, there's the A. Yeah. Oh, that, that's the ladder. I probably wouldn't have noticed that if you didn't do that. Mm. Yeah, that, it's kind of a weird thing. It's something you wouldn't have noticed at first, but, you know. Yeah. So there's not much to say here, because this is mostly just regular enemies. There's not much special other than this guy that's really annoying. I mean, I say, the, 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 the air, dash, slide, whatever. It really doesn't really add too much to the game on its own. I mean, it, it makes it that you can traverse short distances pretty quickly no matter what your scenario is. Yeah. I mean, you did a really short dash just then. You can slide I mean, between enemies and stuff, but... Yeah, but, I mean, the game really isn't changed to accommodate for it, really. Uh, there are some stages where that is. Oh, and you don't have Rush Pull, you have Rush Life G, which gives you health back, so... I, I guess that's Rush Life Generator. Yeah. So anyway, here's Charge Man. Choo choo. Um, uh, magical Whoa. teleporting charge Wait, man. what? That, that is not how trains operate. I am sorry, Mr. Rom Hacker. <laughs> um, the problem with this boss is it's, it's one of those kind that Simon has been going on about in Mega Man 4, where if you don't know his pattern, he'll just wreck you. Because... Yeah, it seems. There, there does not seem, from, from my untrained Mega Man eyes, there really any sort of method to this, this man's madness, really. Well, it doesn't matter, because we beat him, so now we get to do the Kirby dance. Yes. I approve wholeheartedly. That's pretty funny. Alright. So, now we get Charge Kick, which... 
Charge Geek is pretty much the same as it was, only you go about twice as far and twice as fast. Can you use it in air? Of course, it is air sliding. True. So that that is an important improvement to it. Uh huh. Anyway, more Kirby music, and next time we're gonna get the most broken weapon in the game, so. We'll see you then. Intrigue. Bye. <laughs>